Greetings, and welcome everyone to Retro Game Repairman, where we learn to get vintage video games to run on modern hardware. I'm your host, Ace, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Allow me to explain. Today's video was inspired by requests to cover MechWarrior 4 Vengeance and how to get it to run on modern hardware. A reasonable request, all things considered. However, that would make for a very, very short video. Thanks specifically to the MechWarrior Quadrology, which is a fan-made compilation that includes all four of the original MechWarrior games, plus all of their expansion packs. And with the exception of two things, everything runs right out of the box without any additional configuration on your part. Those two things, by the way, being the Windows version of MechWarrior 2, or more specifically, the Titanium Windows version of MechWarrior 2, and the MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries standalone expansion to MechWarrior 4 Vengeance. So instead, this can be seen as something of a guide to get all of the MechWarrior games from 1 to 4 running. Although in the case of MechWarrior 2, you'll be using the DOS version, as the Windows 95 versions of MechWarrior 2 really do deserve their own video video, because oh boy, what a massive rabbit hole that is going to be. Besides that, the fixes that exist for MechWarrior 2 Windows are not compatible with the Quadrology build. That said, I will at least be providing a link to a separate guide that someone else made to get some of the Windows versions of MechWarrior 2 running, although admittedly not all of them. But getting back to today's video, I should mention before I start properly that these fixes have been tested on a Windows 10 64-bit with a GTX 980 Ti GPU, 48GB of DDR4 RAM, and an i7-6700K processor. With that all said, the first thing you'll want to do is download and install via the MechWarrior Quadrology. Now due to the fact that this is a fan-made compilation that includes the full games, I personally cannot provide you the link to the MechWarrior Quadrology. However, I can assure you that if you are willing to search for it, it should be fairly easy to find. As previously mentioned, of course, once you get to MechWarrior 2, you'll want to install the DOS versions rather than the Windows versions. And in the case of the MechWarrior 4 Mercenary Standalone Expansion, you may want to consider choosing not to install that standalone expansion expansion specifically, as not only does it not work right out of the box, but there are newer versions of MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries. Which brings me to step number two, which is to download and extract the latest version of MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries, which is the MechTech.003C version. Now this used to be freeware back in the day, but then it stopped being freeware at some random point for arbitrary reasons. And I'm not sure if it has or hasn't become freeware yet again, as there have been some conflicting reports in that regard. So sadly, I will not be providing a link to that either, although once again it should be fairly easy to find if you should choose to look for it. But now that you've got the latest version of MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries, we can now move on to step number three, as there's a file that you either need to remove or edit. To find it, you need to get into the Mercenaries directory, then go to Assets, then go to Binaries, and then find the file that is highlighted here. It is going to originally be named the image hlp.dll file, and like I said, you can either choose to rename this file or delete it. Once this is done, the next thing you'll want to do is download and extract the latest version of DG Voodoo 2. And once this is extracted, go to the DG Voodoo 2 directory, then into the MS folder and then the x86 folder and copy the files there and paste them into your Mercenaries directory as well as your MechWarrior Vengeance directory and the directory for the Black Knight expansion, which itself is located within the MechWarrior 4 Vengeance directory. The exact folder you're looking for within the Vengeance directory being MW4X. Once this is done, open up DG Voodoo 2 and click Add, and add the directories to the MechWarrior 4 games and expansion packs that we have previously covered, and configure them as shown here. Remember that you'll want to do this separately for Vengeance, Black Knight, and Mercenaries. Once this is done, the next step is to right-click on the autoconfig.exe file, as well as the game executable, and select Properties. From here, go to the Compatibility tab for both, and make sure that you click Run as Admin. Once again, make sure you do this for not just the base game, but also both of the expansion packs separately. Finally, open the autoconfig.exe file and configure the game settings as shown here. Remember once again to repeat this step for not just the base game, but both expansion packs separately as well. The autoconfig for the Black Knight expansion being autoconfigx.exe and being located within the Vengeance directory. Congratulations if you have done everything 
everything correctly, then your copies of MechWarrior 1, MechWarrior 2, MechWarrior 3, and MechWarrior 4 will all be fully playable. I hope that you have found this guide to be most useful, and I also hope to be back again soon with another video. But until then, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.